Hey you, are you wasting your time on social media again? Your brothers and sisters in Islam net from Norway are establishing a masjid, a dawah center. Establishing a masjid to convey the message of Islam is one of the best deeds a Muslim can do. There's a huge need for it in Norway. You know this and I know this. So that makes the reward even greater. So give generously and Allah Azza wa Jal will give you even more. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you guys doing? It's good to see you guys again. You know, we've been fundraising for this mosque for many years on our YouTube channel. I'm not sure if any of you have seen the videos. And now I've prayed in it. You know, alhamdulillah, it's good to finally pray in the masjid that we've uh, collectively, mashallah, fundraised for. So well done to you, takbir. You guys have done it yourself. And inshallah, us, all of us, can get the rewards of every prayer, every wudu, and everything else that happens in this masjid. There's a lot going on now in the world, as you guys know. There's a lot going on now. And wallahi, one of the things that I think has been best about what's happened with the Palestine issue is that the masks of the opponents of Islam and the Muslim peoples have dropped. We really understand where we stand now vis-a-vis -vis these people. That now the indifference, the apathy that they feel towards us and our people is made clear. SubhanAllah, what's happened in the last 120 days has been quite shocking. It's made all of us go through a tumultuous and tempestuous time from an emotional perspective. That's definitely the case. But it's also an opportunity for us because in this time, we've re-reminded ourselves of what the purpose of life is. We've reminded ourselves of the fact that we are Ummat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's created unification among the Muslim people. And it's allowed us to establish Islam to a certain extent in a way that wasn't established before. Because we realized. We realized that the ones who care most about us is us. This is what we realized. You know, there was, there was an ayah in the Qur'an, which is a very important ayah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَن تَرْضَ عَنْكَ الْيَهُودُ وَلَن نَصَارَى حَتَّى تَتَّبِعَ مِلَّتَهُمْ That, len, it won't be the case that the Jews and the Christians will ever accept you fully, except if you accept their own way. Their way. قُلْ إِنَّهُ دَ اللَّهِ هُوَ الْهُدَى and then Allah responds, He says that the true guidance is the guidance of God. That if you follow their way after what has come to you from knowledge, then you have no path to Allah and you have no protector against Him. So, what's interesting about this is the following human beings. Psychologically speaking, human beings have an in-group, out-group bias. All of us are like that. We're, in, we're tribal. We have a psychological disposition to a kind of tribalism. Now that tribalism can be on the basis of the color of your skin. It could be on the basis of the language that you speak. It could be on the basis of your religion or the religion of your ancestors. It could be any of those things or all of those things. That's how human beings are. And just like a true Christian believer will never accept us whilst we're still Muslim, a true liberal will never accept us until we absorb their liberalism. They will never accept us. It's the same thing with a true feminist or even, even a true atheist. It's the case. It's just the way that we are wired we identify with a certain label and we will never accept fully this person until they accept our worldview. Because the thing is, psychologically speaking, if you think about it, if this wasn't the case, then it inhibits our survival mechanisms. This is a survival function. It allows us to group together. It allows us to organize together. It's a very normal part of human life. However, the Qur'an, because it knows that human being has this proclivity and it has this bias, it says, وَإِذَا قُلْتُمْ فَأَعْدِلُوا 
wa in kana dha qurba this is a very important part of an ayah that if you speak speak the truth and even if the person is close to you even if the person is close to you because it's natural you're going to have that bias to people who are closer to you your family members kunu qawamina shuhada lillah walaw ala anfusukum aw alwalidain alaqrabin that be upright standing with justice even if it's against your own self so the point the quran is making is the following the quran is making the point that we understand human beings have an in group out group bias psychologically speaking but what should take precedence above and beyond that is the truth and your quest for it which is why when abraham was having a dialogue with his people they said we're going to follow what our forefathers were upon qala wa law jittukum bi ahda mimma wajadtum alayhi aba'akum qalu inna bima ursiltum bihi kafirun he said what if i bring you something which is better in guidance than what your forefathers have they immediately said what we are, we just believe in what you bring fantaqamna minhum and allah destroyed them and the verses continue most of you would have seen the quran burners in the scandinavian region it's about time i think that we put our foot down and take a clear stance against the islamophobic narratives presented by some governments These governments defend the desecration of the Quran in the name of freedom of speech. Islam Net is working on the ground in Norway, where the phenomenon of burning the Quran is most widespread. In response to the anti-Muslim groups calling for the eradication of Islam and Muslims in Europe, they're establishing the largest dawa center in Scandinavia. This project has been endorsed by Muslims all over the world, including the great du'at of our times, such as Dr. Zakir Naik. Bilal Phillips and many more. The masjid will be the biggest of the Muslim community's history in Northern Europe. You can see the physical manifestation of this yourself. That our donors' money has been transformed into physical assets is something that has been showcased many times by videographic evidence. But the work is not done yet. We need to finish the masjid expansion and refurbishment. The success of this project. and of our response to the enemies of Islam through dawa in Islamic education depends on your generosity Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran man dhalladhi yuqridu Allah qardan hasanan fayudha'ifahu lahu adha'afan kathira who is it that will loan Allah a goodly loan so that he may multiply it for him many times over this is the holy month of Ramadan This opportunity may never present itself again. Do not procrastinate. Click the link to donate and share in this tremendous reward waiting for you to harvest.